You've probably heard many music marketers tell you, get on TikTok before it's too late or make content because that's gonna help you grow. But none of them tell you the kind of content to make. What's up geniuses, my name is Adriel Vera and welcome back to the channel where you learn to show your genius. Just like you, I'm a musician with a burning desire to share my music with the world. However, the world isn't just going to listen to my music just because I made it. You need to have a strategy in place to get people aware of your music in the first place. This is where content comes in. Content comes in all types of mediums on all types of platforms. But today we're gonna be focusing on TikTok and Instagram Reels. You might be asking what qualifications does this guy have to teach me about content? And quite frankly, that's for you to decide. I used to actively post on TikTok back in 2019 and managed to get a few videos to go viral. Plus I've been able to organically grow this channel to over 30,000 subscribers, so. Although I'm definitely not as active on TikTok as I used to be, I've managed to help a few friends get their videos to pop off with over a few hundred thousand views, and I'm slowly but surely making my way back into the TikTok and Instagram real space. Over the years, I made a lot of mistakes with my content strategies, so today I'm gonna share my experience with you in your content creation so you can avoid those mistakes and actually know what kind of content to make as a musician. First of all, let's talk about what the TikTok and Instagram algorithm looks for when deciding on which videos to push out to people. The key metric you need to optimize your videos for is watch time, and that's for good reason. TikTok and Instagram are businesses trying to make as much money as they possibly can, and the main way they do is by selling ad space to other businesses so those businesses can run their ads on their platform. The more ads TikTok and Instagram can show people, the more money they make, and the only way to do that is by keeping people on the platform for longer. This is why watch time is so important because if TikTok and Instagram see there's a video that's keeping a lot of people watching all the way through, odds are it's an interesting video and one worth pushing in the eyes of the algorithm. Having a higher watch time is easier said than done, but there are some ways we can increase your chances of someone watching all the way through. First, have something that will grab people's attention within the first three seconds of the video. The first three seconds is typically where people decide if they're gonna commit to watching the video all the way through or not. If you're not grabbing people's attention at the start, you're hurting your chances of getting seen. Second, trim your video of unnecessary content. People's attention spans are short, so to keep them engaged, you have to keep the momentum of the video flowing. If your video has too much filler or you're taking too long to get to the point, draw out those areas so the viewer isn't tempted to swipe past you. Third, re-engage your audience. As long as you're not going overboard, the more stuff you can throw on screen that's relevant to the video, the better. Overlaying captions, pictures, and other videos on top of your video is going to make sure that your viewer is constantly re-engaged watching your video. Our goal is to make the watching experience as pleasant as possible, and the easier we can visualize the message we're trying to create in our content, the less effort the viewer has to do to understand the video. All right, awesome. Now we know how to make engaging content, but you still might be asking yourself, Adriel, what kind of content do I make? Anything relative to your music that plays on your strengths is good content to make. For example, if you have a beautiful singing voice that can riff like crazy without autotune, post some videos of you singing your song or a cover and sing the heck out of it to wow the viewer. If you're a guitarist and can shred the guitar like none other, then post a guitar solo. If you're a rapper and have massive wordplay, rap and showcase your talents. If you're someone like me who's great at talking, talk about why you made a certain song and tell the story behind it. I want you to pay attention to this example of a piece of content I made breaking down one of my songs and see if you can identify how I use these strategies to increase my watch time. I've been releasing one song every month since September 2020 and for the month of of July 2022, I released my song, Losing My Mind. I wrote the song on vacation to see my family in Tennessee, and before I went, I had to get my AC fixed in my car because it broke down, which ended up costing like over $1,200, which was a lot of money. This is what inspired the song. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the song. So what exactly did I do? I broke down the story behind my song, Losing My Mind, and only included relevant information to the story. There's a lot of cuts between sentences to keep the pacing of the video constant, and a lot of pictures, text, and videos overlaid to re-engage the audience. I also catch the viewer's attention within the first few seconds of the video by stating that I've been releasing music every month for the past two years. That's something unique that not every artist can say, which is exactly why it works great as a hook. However, feel free to leave your feedback in the comments if you feel there's something that I can improve on. Like I mentioned earlier, there are some mistakes that I've learned from in my content creation journey. After some thinking, I put together a few things to keep in mind when creating content. First, be mindful of the type of content you're creating. One of the most common forms of content you're gonna find on TikTok and Instagram Reels is comedy. Incorporating comedy into your content by making parody songs or mixing popular memes and trends can be great for exposure, but not all exposure is good exposure. If you're making serious and heartfelt songs, posting content that is solely comedy will get you in front of the wrong type of audience and your music won't grow from it. For example, I have a TikTok that got over 2 million views. It was me remixing two trends from 2019 into a mashup. It was funny and related to music, but it didn't help build awareness towards the songs I actually want to release because there's no incentive to do so. Sure. 
It's inevitable that a few people will convert to listening to your serious songs, but if you focus your efforts on making content for your intended audience, you will convert a lot more people with a lot less views. Second, stay consistent. Releasing content on a regular basis is going to ensure that you build up momentum over time. It's gonna be difficult at the beginning because you're going to post a video and more than likely it won't go viral. That is okay. If you go to the gym and have a really good workout, but don't work out again until next month, you're not gonna see results. The same goes for your content. You won't see a drastic difference every day, but eventually it will build if you stick with it. It isn't until a year from now that you'll be able to look back and finally see how far you've come. Third, keep it simple. TikTok and Instagram reels are supposed to be quick to consume, so don't spend a whole day trying to make the perfect video. The faster and easier you can make content and put it out, the better. You want to avoid burnout, and if you're spending eight hours every day making content, then you won't have any time or energy to even work on the music or any other crucial part of your music business. If you're a musician and this video helped you better understand TikTok and Instagram reels, feel free to subscribe for more music marketing tips and check out this video to find out how to release music that actually gets heard. Show your genius.